So today, I have to practice for my presentation. It's for a design project I'm doing for my computer systems class. I need to go and defend our design. I have class at 2. I have a team meeting today as well for my computer systems class. Then I have to work on my research. I also need to study for an exam that's coming up next week. Are we going to go to the library to study for it? Yes, we will. <laughs> She's also promising so many people that she's coming to this event. This all is a fraud. I'm coming! <laughs> what is this entire building for? Like this whole hallway thing that we just went So the one we just booked is called the Infinite. Why is it called that? <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not even that long, but I think like biggest is Alright, we're heading to the library. Isabel has a lot of work to do. I'm gonna follow you. where we were, we were down there. Now we're here. Okay, let's see McCormick. Okay, so Isabel went to class from 2 to 6 p.m. And it's currently 6 p.m. We're gonna grab dinner. Isabel is actually fasting today, so this is our first meal of the day. Also, if it looks like my face is puffy, it's because I was taking a nap, but don't tell the world that. Naps are a scam. You think you're only gonna sleep for 15 minutes, then it's 30, then it's 45, and then it just might be two hours. But anyways, I didn't take that long of a nap. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but it's almost very healthy. Because I remember even from GIS days, right? We were always were drinking water. Yeah. Black don't crack times like a cough, okay? That's mm -hmm. true. I think when I came freshman here, I got the same thing. How do you remember? I don't remember something you ate like two years ago. Mm -hmm. As long as I put it in my mouth, the taste, the memory mm -hmm. came back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's weird. That's weird. I remember weird things. Like, I don't remember what I did yesterday, but I remember the first I could pass, that's how they remember things. Um, what would you say is your biggest point of growth in your four years in university? I think I've become more understanding. You remember how we talked about last night about extending grace to people and like, they want to see things from other people's perspective. So I think one of the things is growing up in Ghana, there's a very monotone identity. Yeah. Especially in high school, I feel like all the boys have the same haircut, same shoes, and if you're like outside of that bracket, you're just quote unquote weird. So I feel like the people that were quote unquote weird in high school found their group of people and their interests once they le left and thrived. What's your favorite thing about MIG? The people. It's always been the people for me. 
that's what made me be like, oh, I, I didn't make the right choice. You would think that, like, because everyone is so busy, they wouldn't be, like, really nice. But honestly, I think out of a lot of the schools I've gone to, like, MIT has the nicest people. Okay, MIT. Mm -hmm. Like, people here are actually genuinely smart. They have an intellectual curiosity that's, like, you really care, mm -hmm. you really want to know more. And it's like, sometimes they're shocking, but then you realize it's not quite the MIT. One thing that we all have in common is that we really care about what we care about. That's one thing that's really important to me. Alright guys, it is the night time and we're heading to, what's the building that we're going to call it again? We are going to building 16. Wow. You guys name your buildings very like scary. I feel like building 16 is like something that will come in a movie and they'll be like building 16. I don't think so, but <laughs> Uh, we're going to building 16 to go buy some food from the vending machine as a little midnight snack. Shoes off, boss on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breezes, all I need, and off to the races, watch it fly like a space. <laughs> 